We back here again with another episode. Hood Ink Kenny. Hey, what, the beat is here. what it is, man. Another episode of Running the Podcast. We just had to get them up in here, man. Some of those that don't know you, introduce yourself well, to them. They call me Hood Ink Kenny. Listen to the bird, You know what I'm saying? Like, the dude that started the tattoo game. Well, I don't say started, but I'm one of the biggest tattoo artists in Beach, but I'm the second biggest. Cause the other one did, and that's by Bob, you know what I'm saying, out of that, cause he really started. But I'ma finish, you know what I'm saying? Doing tattoos. So, man, since the eighth grade, like, man, that over 15 plus years. Like, this shit here just, I have been doing this shit so motherfucking long, like, like, it just, I can do this shit in my sleep, but I did two tattoos in my sleep by my whole life. In your sleep? Sleep, like real life. Like, I can go get these people right now in the you. Like, man, this, this nigga was sore and tatted me, bro. And like, still went hard with it. What? I call bro right now on the phone. He gonna be like, man, this nigga. So, so what you, how you started a tattoo? You were a drawing first? Man, be real. I always been a drawer. You know what I'm saying? Coming up in school. Like, I drew my first tattoo book. I drew that bit. That bit was so hard. I lifted it and got it down. I went so hard, I drew my whole tattoo book in ISD, bro, because I was bad as hell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was boring. So they like, write your notes. Nah, nigga, I'm in here drawing. Because in my mind, I'm like, nigga, when I leave school, nigga, this one or two things gonna happen. Either we're gonna be broke or rich. Right. You feel me? So uh-huh. if I leave this motherfucker today, I need to have me some money on the back end. I ain't trying to go work for Wings. I ain't right. never punched the clock, bro, in my life. Like, can't even tell you go out and go get a job, none of it. Because you, know you had saying? your own like, house. All this straight tattoo money. That's right. how long I've been doing this shit. That's what's up, man. Oh, good. So, uh, but like, see, that shit, what the tattoo shit is, my mama wanted me to do that shit, really. Tattoo? Yeah. My biggest dream was to be a king fan. That was yeah. my biggest dream. That was your biggest dream. That was my biggest dream. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know man. Man. You know, I want my uncle to come over, like, nigga, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then all the time, my mama, like, so I'm here, my mom, my mom I'm like, nigga, how you a host? Yeah. Nigga, you sitting there, doctor, my mom, like, I'm gonna get 20 hours. She say, nigga, I ain't give you no motherfucking 20 hours. I say, why you ain't giving me 20 hours? She say, nigga, I just bought you that tattoo gun. You go, you with that bitch, nigga. I'm like, nigga, huh? She like, all right. I'm like, all right. So she, I'm waiting on the 20. I done went got the box. So I'm sitting there, I'm waiting on the 20. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, she like, nigga, she he thought I was playing. She like, nigga, you ain't gonna start, eat a star. Like, this is how she was for real. Like, nigga, I ain't spend my motherfucking hard on on this shit for you to wait. So, yeah. nigga, you gonna use this shit and get some money, or you gonna be broke as hell with no money. You know what I'm saying? So, get what I had to do. Make this shit work. I had to figure it out. It's just like they give you a box of goddamn, they give you a box of goddamn a bill or something, they give you the instructions. Yeah. And I had to look at the tattoo gun, but I had to learn to use the motherfucker. They just sucked the whole box with no instructions. For real? You get what I'm and saying? so you just learn how to use it by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, my first homeboy, I tell you, he like was smoking D. I got them nigga on with a homemade goddamn tattoo gun. And this shit went from there. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, nigga, she tattoo. You, you nigga got Nigga wasn't even talking about tattoos when I was first started tattooing. Like, that shit is just some shit nigga was doing. Yeah. You had to sneak and do it. Yeah. Now you got pants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They I remember probably getting just tatted with their child. Yeah, you feel me? I remember when we got there, oh man, mama, I can go get a tat. Then she be like, hell nah, then you get to your mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I got to go to tat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's what it is, man. So, uh, oh, God. when you first started tatting, um, when you say you was, you was drawing first, Okay, so do you remember, like, when you first started drawing, who who taught you how to draw? It just came natural to okay, you? Okay, see, I got an auntie. That, that goes back, all uh, right, I got a cousin named Kim Versailles. She was always an artist in the family. So my auntie could draw, too. I always looked up to him. So as a kid, when I supposed to be writing ABCs, you remember that little gray-looking-ass paper with the lines on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm over that bitch scribbling and drawing. I don't know the fuck I'm drawing, but my hands in motion. Yeah. You feel me? See, I like I go all the way back to goddamn when I was sitting on the floor, goddamn at five years old, yeah. playing with a pen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Learning how Learning to how draw to... a fucking shape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this shit just builds yeah. up yeah. as it went. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To where everybody like, damn, nigga, you can draw. I got girls right now, and I don't want to school with like, bring him on that spot by picture you drew for me in class. I'm like, nigga, 
Just way back in like, I don't remember six, seven like, grade. I done drew on walls. You know like, what I'm saying? Like I trend, like, though I say it's levels to this shit. Like, in your life, it's a level. It's a level, you know what I'm saying? In everything you do. But like I say, if you can draw, did you ever think about doing any paint? I can paint. Nigga, I went to art school. Every summer, I went to art school, nigga. I can draw your ass, nigga. Man, okay. I tell you, bro, that's where the money at, though. But I ain't see that. That's where the money at. That's where the money at, but my pace is level. I ain't long. But like, see, you can take your time with it. Yeah. You can take your yeah. time day by day when you ain't doing shit, go in there and throw a little yeah. bit of paint on it. But I know how to do all this shit to my like, oil pastels. Because, see, I got a friend, I got a friend that do this. Man, yeah. he just made 75 grand. Went to Atlanta and sold six paintings for $75,000. Damn. Let me sit up here. Who we sleeping on you. And I'm telling you the honest to God truth. I could call him right now and he'll tell you the same thing. And, bro, this is the crazy part. The person that taught me how to paint is a known painter in Mississippi. The Davenport dude, it's like Davenport. He the dude that one year he won the contest for designing the boot bags for the River Fish. Like, him, like, but this dude, like, he, he, he do, like, like, every, every summer he do an art show. Yeah. But he do it with kids. Like, he teach kids how to paint. Like, he even had kids in there that's artistic. You know what I'm saying? He teach them how to, you know, just to, you know, like, some artistic kids really can draw. Yeah. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, them they, are really talented. Yeah, them yeah. the talented ones. You know real. what I'm saying? That's so, you're real. looking at, like, damn, these are the real goats. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they got talent. They just ain't. You know, responsive to everything. Yeah. But they, you know what I'm saying? They have a better way of understanding life than we right. do. That's real we talk. We ain't normal to them. They look yeah. at life different than we look yeah. at. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why you look at it. That's why I tell people, man, you can't judge people because that person mm -hmm. that you like this, I this like this, I ain't like this, and that person over there is. You feel me? Yeah. Like you, a stranger love you for somebody that, that hey, that's real around. Talk, man. That's something I learned going up through life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got people, I got people in the game like right now. That I didn't tell it for years. They won't go to nobody else. Then you got some people that's in the game that you tell, and they'll be like, oh man, you told me this, you told me that. But I got some people that tell me I'm really showing myself. You get what I'm saying? See, so it's different people that you're dealing with in the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go to Texas, I don't even know these folks. I can make $1,500 on a weekend, two days. Two days. You doing tattoos? You feel so you ever did like a tattoo party? See, that's what I'm working on, man. Like, I'm, I'm trying to do like some convention shit. Like, Really, I want to. I don't want to have a contest because nobody's never better than the next. Yeah, you just because everybody has their flaws every day. You yeah, know what you saying? just do a tattoo. I might wear my ass up. They got a tat, and yeah. then they might just don't look as good as it would have looked yeah. another day. If you, you know was on point with it, yeah. yeah. So that's why I tell people it's really not a best tattoo artist. It's really not the best tattoo artist yeah. because everybody got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying, like. This person right here might do this tattoo one time, but he need to do it the next time. That motherfucker gonna look ten times better. You get what I'm saying? So it ain't about, you know what I'm saying? Different artists lead different work. Yeah. That means yeah. if every artist had the same, why would you go to him? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's a purpose. Like, why the fuck would I just study go over here if I just want the same simple work? No. Yeah. Every artist had their own structure for tattoo. Like, yeah. you go look at a tattoo, you be like, Oh, KJ did it. Yeah. He'd be like, nah, if he did, though. Yeah, you can tell. He'd be like, Ronnie did, though. Yeah. And then you'd be like, Capone did, yeah. though. And then you'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just different you people. Know, be like, you yeah. know they work. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what makes you an artist. Yeah. Because you're special about your work. You that's what makes you, you got your unique signature. about yeah. your own mm -hmm. fucking work. You know what I'm mean? saying? So you can't hear the day you ain't got none of your clothes on, none of your clothes line yeah, on. Yeah, man. It was real awesome. <laughs> you know some real shit. You know I'm normally see you with some of it on. Yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna keep it on. Yeah. Like, I was trying to have this shit prepared. Yeah. One of my workers was like, they gonna be here a certain time. So I, yeah. you know, for the moment. Already, but it's you know good. Uh, so, so with the clothes line, you came up with all that yourself as yeah, well? Yeah, like my name, like by itself, shit. I invented, it's a brand. You know, it's a brand. Like I invented, like the name Hood Inc. It's really, this why it's special because it represents a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, who they eat. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they say a lot yeah, by that, itself. That's why I tell people, like, she, they be like, you a professor? I be like, no, ever call me a professor. I don't want to be a professor. You know what I'm saying? That's for the other people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's why I'm stealing the hood. Yeah. I've been having no money to leave that Yeah, I already know. But why would I leave? I need no the sense. same people that put me on. <laughs> you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, So before I leave, I help them. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, I can get back to the hood before I just leave it, motherfucker. Get away. Yeah, the end of the day, someone pick me out true enough, swear to God. But I got to love them to get away when I ain't had nothing. They were right there. there. Right there. You know what I'm saying? They spending that money. And then you. some people be like, damn, man, you don't fuck me no more since you made a woo woo. Nah, it ain't that. Yeah. I, want, I truly, really would love to fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, but I got so much other shit, shit going, going on. on. Yeah. Like, I don't even have time to tag half of the time. That, like, one point of time, I just wanted to tag. Then it's like, I got to do more to keep more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so you can't just be over there tagging and thinking that money going to survive you. Mm. Hell no, nah, you better kill your ass up. To survive in this world, you need five to ten hustles. At least. At least, you, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck the motherfuckers bringing in pennies right now. Yeah, right. But when they start bringing in dollars out, that shit going to make sense. It's you coming. You know what I'm saying? It's That's, coming. So, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got to look at the smile thing to make them be. You feel me? Like, I had to sacrifice a lot of shit. Like, it took me for the sacrifice. Like, I tell motherfuckers, you can take two weekends or three weekends out your whole life. Yeah. And it'll change. It will change. It'll change your whole life. You know why I say that? Because you can take the same two, three hundred dollars that you put in your in the club every weekend. You going to buy outfits and all that. You can go put that up. Real time. And guess what? Motherfucker screaming taxes. You ahead. You will be ahead if you putting. You already got a If I just say things. one month, I just say that three hundred dollars. You feel me? Add that up. Come on, man. Yeah. I done changed my whole life because I'm ahead now. That's real. See, that's what everybody forget. You got to stay ahead. You don't want to stay the same. You want to go ahead. And guess what? It ain't about you getting ahead the same fuck the next person. Yeah. It's about you getting ahead pulling the next person with you. I ain't a dope. When you just, you know what I'm saying? When Never you just, catch on to your coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah like real talk. But everybody ain't meant to pull with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everybody ain't going to come with you. Yeah, so you got to weed them out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Who up, really man. want something. You know what I'm saying? For real. Everybody don't want the same thing. That's even with a relationship. Yeah. That motherfucker you dealing with gotta want the same thing you want. Yeah. Or more. And if, you, it don't, if, it don't, if it ain't right, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. How the hell it gonna work? It ain't gonna work. So you agree that y'all got this uh, promotion thing going yeah. on. So uh, when you what, when you started that? See, we really started that shit last year for our birthday, really. Okay. Like, I threw a party, he threw a party. You know what I'm saying? It's a Libra shit. So and shit, it, it took it, off it, from there. Yeah. Like, everybody fuck with us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you, you know, that's what I try to tell a nigga, like, it's a gang guy out here. You know, when you in the street, you know. Shit, yeah, yeah. This shit for real. <laughs> for real. You know, you do wrong, wrong with father. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? However you live it, it ain't gonna play out in your life. Real you know what I'm saying? Bro, you're bro. a real nigga gonna tell if you're a real nigga. I'm telling you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Time don't lie, numbers don't lie. And it ain't gonna you lie. Feel? And so if you're a real nigga, it gonna tell you. It gonna be like, oh, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man. I got people only talk to every day, but get what? A nigga can be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do something, bro. Woo, woo. But them niggas, they'll spin for niggas that be around me every day. I'm in trying the to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. Like, I don't even call these niggas every day. But get what? Nigga, call me like, yeah, bro, I'll holler at you real quick, bro. Woo, woo. I know you be woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? See, them, them my niggas just understand. Me. Yeah. See, you got some niggas that you deal with this weird that don't understand. Like, and you, problem. They you, lost. Sit there, you sit there trying to help me. Then they be like, nah, you trying to use it. How I'm trying to use it now? I already got what I need. Yeah. I'm trying to show you the game. Just by you being around me, you but should get what? pick something up. But get what? You feel like I got to help you get in the club. So who use who? <laughs> that don't make sense, man. Man, it's crazy, bro. You know man, it's crazy. So I let, and in the midst, uh, you say you got an artist, artist that you're working with now, finna get ready to drop. Uh, what's his name? Baby Ghost. Baby Ghost? Baby Ghost. Okay, okay. He from Vicksburg? Uh, up there in Tonka. His, okay. his 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 mama originally from Beesburg. Okay. She originally from King C. But okay. him, nah, he's from up there about Tuna Club Memphis way, you know. And you say his name is what again? Baby Go, Twenty One Baby Go. Twenty one baby yeah. go. So he got a project finna be dropping soon. Yeah, he got a goddamn he got a little mixtape, he finna do a goddamn drop by like six songs, just some little preview shit. Yeah, you know little E P little E P. Yeah, just you know. That's he really what... been going hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm getting on the, I'm getting on the more man. Cause he need to take him OC. So you invested yeah. in him pretty much. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So get what? If I feel like you gonna be worth something, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you 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 good, you good with your with what you doing, mm -hmm. hey I'ma fuck with right. you. Right. Ain't up. nobody invest me. Cause yeah. like for real. <laughs> ain't nobody invest me. But I'm telling him like I'm telling him like, bro, the family smile already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta get on your seat. Like all that young nigga shit, you gotta let that go. Let that go. I'm you talking about right saying? now. You gotta let it go. Cause yeah. you know what? I say young niggas don't two places. Dead jail. Yeah. 
I'm telling you. If he uh, being a dude boy, I say, nigga, don't know yeah. who around me, come around me, can be a dude boy. Real talk, bro. That's what I be saying, man. But that's what they want to be, though. It's a whole bunch of them around here. But like I say, you know, it's a whole bunch of around here, man. And we've been uh, back and forth about all the things that's uh, been going on around in Vicksburg. I know one time I had seen that you had gotten a little trouble with, you know what I'm saying, them people and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, that shit got them going around for a while. And I had seen, I was like, you know, if you want to chop it up about it, you mm -hmm. can. But if you don't want to, I'm like. It's just some. I'm going to tell you like this. That's <coughs> just some disloyal shit. Bunch of like motherfucker around, yeah. Yeah, it ain't, ain't motherfucker around, yeah. It ain't even a motherfucker. You know, I ain't gonna speak on no name. Yeah, we ain't gonna, I already know, but we ain't gonna speak on too much. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, it's yeah. just, you know, motherfuckers do shit out of, out, out of anger. And you know what? I've been through similar shit. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna be real with you, because I already know what you're Yeah, I've been through it. I've been saying? through that. That's what I'm but, saying. It's about how you control the situation. That's what I'm saying. So you, know you just saying? step back. So when they get around, you got to know how to control yeah, them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm damn fool to get with it. At the end of the day, you still. They still take your ass to jail. They go take it. When I get through with their ass, they going to be like, damn, man. Oh, you know why we pulled up on this nigga. You know, but it's a bunch of, you know, yeah. niggas, niggas get jealous, man, when they see you doing your thing. You know and what I'm saying? They just, sometimes people get mad at you just for you being you. But, bro, I'm going to tell you some real shit. The crazy part, and I'm glad you brought me up, because I always want everybody to hear this. People look at me like, oh, that nigga got it. That nigga doing it. That nigga doing it. Bro, I spend thousands of dollars every month on just my people. This ain't even more my lifestyle. It was a day my kid, bro. I was walking around here in flip flops. Couldn't even get a ride. Like, you know, I just told y'all, like, that little, ride, that little walk doesn't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> that how long I ain't walk. Bro, you walk around that bitch with flip-flops on with a book bag on my back. Doing mm -hmm. third eye, fourth eye tattoo. But that's how you start off. So, that's what I'm telling people, you. like. Start from the moon. That's you what I'm telling people, people like, yo, I ain't never gonna punch a clock. I ain't never get tired, like, man, I'm gonna give me a job, I'm gonna punch a clock. I suffer this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Walk I the sacrifice street shit. every day with the flip-flops on. Don't nobody remember. Want nobody with you with the flip-flops on, no one. I ain't had, I probably had niggas that fuck with me. But yeah. I just, niggas wanted to be around me like they do now. Nah. So y'all doing these parties up, uh, what y'all doing these parties like all over Vicksburg? See. Uh, upper end? Really, uh, up in the main spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we really trying to take this shit further. Like, we trying to go to Jackson, you know, different places. That's what's up. We really trying to bring more. Mode to Vicksburg. Yeah. Because I feel like, why the fuck is Jackson the fucking capital? We need to be the capital. We need to be. Because we really the hardest yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that's real. We got waterways. We got shit that, that the government really needs. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? So, so, so we how y'all ever think about bringing like an artist down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some shit finna talk about. Yeah, you know bring, what I'm saying? Some My whole boy Sleepy finna got down. They finna bring, what's the name of PG? The nigga with me. Yeah. But I'm on some shit. I'm trying to get Fredo. That, uh, <laughs> I want Fredo. I see you know that uh, that uh, that that drop he put down. What he say? The Cayman Country Convention. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was talking about that, that shit. That nigga Blank. But that's him though. Every nigga know where like, you know that's him. That, that nigga Blank, man. Yeah. Everybody know him and they know him and shit. You know see, what I'm saying? See, Webby forever gonna be a real nigga. Yeah. He see, gonna be him. One thing about him, he ain't gonna commercial. No. He ain't gonna commercial. He no. ain't gonna do all that. Cause he too hood, man. And get what? He still in the super room with the white folks. Uh, still giving him motherfucking money. He a real nigga. Yeah, he a hood See, nigga. See, real niggas don't change. They just do this shit a different bro. way. Yo, you ain't gotta go over here and fuck with this nigga and that nigga to make yourself really man. Hell nah, I ain't trying to be in the spotlight to get money. You ain't, ain't gotta be in the spotlight to get no motherfucking money. You, you ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta be But it depends all. on what you doing, what's your brain, what's your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what you here for? Yeah, yeah, I man. seen all uh, they were talking about on, on Facebook all the shit that been going on around here in the city, all this shooting and shit, man. I was talking about these little young niggas. Man, get the, if, if you can, give me be, be, before we even get even close to the end, I want you to give me get get give me some inspirational words the to get around here, man, that's around here that man. don't understand life and, 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 and you know need some real leadership, right. man. I'm finna tell y'all some real shit. All these young they need to pray. They need to really, like, bro, I'm telling you, I ain't been in church in over 10 years. But God with me every day. Yeah, because the church ain't there. It's in you. You feel me? Like, wherever I go, God with me. Yeah. If I go to the club, he with me. They be like, man, you can't, God, you right? Who you think invented this? Yeah. 
He go him fuck you. Well, whatever you do, if you ain't got him in whatever you're doing, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna never work. I don't care if you send a drug. I don't care if you out right there. Even if you rob, you put it like this. You better have God with you. You better. Cause get what? When this motherfucker turn, boy, your <laughs> egg gonna turn. I'm oh, okay. And that's real, bro. I'm talking about right. some real but shit. Tell you some real shit. See, my mama died when I take. Oh man, sorry to hear that, my condola for real, for real. Already, man, you know, for real, for real. Did, you know. Yeah, I ain't even know that though. Yeah. My mom died when I was nineteen, but I'm telling you how the story though. See, this is how she died. Me being a youngster, that's why I don't. That's why I think before I do a lot of shit. Man. This right here changed my whole life. Like when they say, when we ever said thirty seconds to fuck your whole life up, thirty seconds fuck my whole life up, bro. Like my mom had just got me, you know what I'm saying? Me and my homeboy, we stayed in there, so I'm riding shit. We rolled over into the bird. I'm finna go back to the crib. I, I had a car number seven lane, man. I'm riding this bitch, you feel me? My mom only gave me a car. You feel me? I ain't gotta pay for nothing, nothing. You know what I'm mean? saying? Come ride. Motherfucker, the car needed some goddamn uh, front end lamp. Yeah. The front end lamp. So she, you know, like you come across the bridge right there, bro, Yeah. They live right there, like, soon as you come down, they be like, you finna go to Jackson. I hit that hump, that bitch, it was right, it be hydroplane, bam, threw me in the meeting, you feel me? I told the cop, bam. It what made me open my eyes, bro. My mom came to that same hood, and she had a heart attack, you feel me? It's the last time I seen my mama walk, good. Because she thought and something was wrong with you. They let me know she was a real parent. Because she was so scared. Bro, that what? shit hurt me, boy, I ain't going to lie. That was the worst you know feeling. Me, that shit hurt me just then. That's the bro, worst feeling ever. Like, you, bro, this, this my best friend, y'all, my twin. Like, Man. our birthday five days apart. You know what I'm saying? This my home girl. Like, when we bump heads, we bump heads. Like, we in a relationship. Like, that's Man. how we bump heads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this my dog. Cause yeah. she ain't in the world. Man, everything my mama told me when she was alive, that she came true. That's why I tell niggas, when your mama tell your home boy ain't right, when your mama tell you this wrong, yeah. when your mama tell you this ain't right, and do, she teaching you for a, a reason. When she tell you ain't getting that clean your room, she telling you, when she telling you gonna cook you something you she ain't cooking that day, she yeah, doing yeah. all that shit for a reason. Yeah. Get with she ain't gonna be here one day mm -hmm. to do that shit for you. And then get what? She gonna always tell you, you don't need no one, man. But it's she always make sure you gotta cook, clean, and feed your damn self, you feel me? Oh yeah, yeah. God! I be telling my son all the time, you gotta learn how to cook, boy. Uh, yeah, you got to. Cause get what, man? A woman, a woman, they can't cook. That's for real, though. Cause get what, she, you might got a woman that go to work. She might gonna oh, come on. Like my mom used to work every day, so I had to cook for the whole house. It's just me and my little sister. You know what I'm mean? saying? So I'm the man of the house. You know what I'm mean? saying? So like my mama down there, that shit, shit, that shit fucked me up. Cause I'm like, damn, no, bro. I'm All like, I know is, bro. My mama died. I had six dollars of live blood. My family yeah. give me shit, like nuts. Everything I, bro, this shit I'm hard work, like. You know what I'm saying? This shit like I hard work. She with you every day. Yeah, she with you every day. Blessing. Bro, everything I do, I think like, damn, my mama tell me to do. And this the crazy part, cause this who kept me out here surviving so long. This who wanted me to take. I didn't want to take. She was like, nigga, you got to take. I'm like, hell no, nah, well, I ain't finna fuck these people tattoos up. She said, nigga, just believe in yourself. You but I hate that way. she died before I went home. Yeah, yeah so you know she can see you doing your thing she right now. She watching you. She watching yeah, you. Though. What I'm saying, it's just, yeah. Yeah. you be one of like, god damn. I want to go take my mama shopping some time too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. your homeboy be like, man, I'm going my mama out real quick. Be like, god damn, nigga. Then you be like, bro, I'm calling you back. You know what I'm saying? Because you like, hey, I can't. Yeah. You can't. And they get mad at you because you don't want to go to their mama's house. Yeah. yeah. I can't go to your mama's house. Yeah, because I can't, can't get feel it. Yeah. That's what I tell her. But you like, my homegirl, home bro. My homegirl, Brittany Gray, her mama just died. <coughs> and I was just telling her, I was like, man, you just got to, you know, you don't never get better. I ain't gonna never lie nobody tell them death will get better. Whether somebody that you really love. Especially like your mama. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. That is another fucking feeling, bro. Like bro. that, that, that defeat you from a homeboy or whatever, girlfriend, whoever. Man, anybody else can die around you, know you don't have your little emotional. You probably get over. But tell mama, you ain't. You will never. You will never in the world get over your mama. Talk to you, everybody. You know this. The only person that ain't never crossed you. The only person that ain't never. You can go kill ten motherfuckers. Long as you tell her the truth, get away. 
She she your lawyer. That's what it is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. She. How many more motherfuckers are like on? Turn up for you like this. Nobody. Nobody. One more. Y'all tune in to another episode of Running the Podcast. We sitting in with Hood. Y'all stay loyal, bro. To the ones that love y'all.